Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. Today we are gonna go ahead and first off get our daily reward, which is uh, looks like some shards. Not bad. I'll gladly take those. Uh, soon enough, maybe we'll be able to open up a wish orb with those. And beyond that, I don't think there's anything too much more I can do. There's no more quests I can cash in at the moment, but there are some different things, you know, like the uh, crystal up there I wanted to check out. But also, we haven't really taken a look at the deals here. I mean, most of them are really expensive, so I'm not surprised, but you can tell these are super rares and in commons, like the banana rangs. Uh, what is this, for Mario and Rabbids? No special properties, Pierce plus six, and then plus two per star, like that sounds really good. And then we have like a blaster over here, increases effect of bubble gum, ice, etc., by 20% plus an additional 1% per star level. I think like this sounds really nice. I don't know if it's worth it though, you know? I just don't know what else we're spending our gems on, but it might put us ahead in just the right way. The banana rings are like, who can equip something like this? I mean, it looks like the regular Max does, so I might wanna get this just for him. Because I would love him to get some extra pierce. Plus six pierce seems like a lot. So we'll see if this is a waste or not. Only one way to learn sometimes is to make mistakes. Come back tomorrow for something else. Very cool, but hopefully we can continue to earn up more gems this way. And yeah, we'll just equip that to Max real quick, because he's the only one that we currently had that could get that. And I plan on getting some of these other characters soon that you saw there. There was like, you know, the Jake in the tuxedo. Uh, it looks like there was Marcy. So let's swap this out and we'll give, get this for you. Swap it, there you go. But I also wanted to get info on the other one. If I take a look at that, swap it and get info. Who else can equip this? Cause if we could give this to some other character in the meantime, that'd be great. But I don't know if that's actually doable right now, so it doesn't look like it. We'll leave it how it is. I don't think I have too many other things to equip for everybody, but yeah, we wanted to check out this thing in the top that's currently at the Ice King's domain. It is some kind of crystal, and I believe this crystal will make things maybe more difficult or something. Let's take a look. Um, so we're gonna play this. We've already done this mission, but we can do it again, and I don't know where, I guess it's this crystal. If we do this with some extra difficulty, maybe something interesting will happen. It is on the easier difficulty. I don't know what this is gonna get me, We'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. Include some high cost characters like Super Monkey in your party to deal with powerful balloons found in later rounds. I don't have Super Monkey, so I can't do that. So yeah, let's give this a shot. We can handle this level pretty easily, I think. So yeah, let's try out Max right away. Or should we, you know what, maybe we should just try with Finn. It's always good to start with Finn, right? We wanna get him as far to the left as we can. And yeah, that should be pretty good right there. I don't know who we should rush into, but this is two skull instead of one. The problem is that I thought that the skulls represented the difficulty of the map, not the difficulty of the balloon. So I wonder what'll be all that much different in this situation. If anything, I don't know, it might just be an easy 30 round. So I don't mind doing that. Ice King is jamming out on his uh, his uh, drums over there, which is interesting because we might end up playing Ice King here in a moment. Some people are telling me they don't seem to think that Brofist is worth it. I mean, so far I think it has been, but I'll keep that feedback in mind. Um. A lot of people do agree that BMO is worth it and that if I could find a way to get two BMOs, like an extra BMO ally, that could also be worth it as well. So I'll keep that in mind. Right now we could just build, you know, straight into whatever's gonna be the most effective. Try to be a little defensive just in case, you know, things are really tough. So if we put you right here, you are in the range of Brofist if that's what we did wanna continue with. But we'll probably just work on getting more units out here if we could get like, I, like, that's sort of the thing. I don't really know how much we'll push by, but in the meantime, we could do something like you in the corner and then get Max out that way. I feel like that, maybe that's a little bit of a weird idea. Having Finn and Jake out this way is definitely odd, but this should work all together. Just gotta keep on earning money and stuff. Like, I wanna get all the towers I want out first and then worry about uh, making things work with the upgrades after that. And that should work. Usually these first 15 rounds aren't too risky, so that kind of idea can work out well. It's just if you don't build up the proper things in those first 15 rounds, you're gonna be hurting for the next 15. That's sort of the big issue. So we'll try to figure all that out as we go along. I do wanna get Princess Wildberry out here, or Wildberry Princess, actually, excuse me. I don't mean to insult your royaltiness by mispronouncing your name. We're almost there already, so that's pretty good progress. But that's why I find it nice to have Brofist, is it gets some health back, but it also gets extra stuff per round that ends up paying itself forward pretty quickly from what I've seen. But that might just be me. Okay, so I do wanna get Oddberry Princess out here. I think that we'll have her be a bit of a protector here in the, in the front. And that should definitely make a decent difference. Remember that I wanna put 
max on strong. And then we'll get another $700 to get Ice King out here, and I think that'll be great, because he'll work for backdoor support on that final little loop on the right. And that should be good. It'd be cool if I put Ice King down, if like the Ice King out of his drums just jumps off and just lands wherever I want to put the Ice King. That'd be really cool. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Probably not. It's probably just gonna be two Ice Kings in a weird way. All right, so we got some green balloons coming in now on round nine already, so we're getting somewhere, but these balloons don't really stand a chance. Even with the extra skull, I don't think it's gonna be that wild of a difficulty thing. And maybe we'll run into a Moab or something, so I will have to be ready for that. But even that, I don't really think it's gonna be something. And of course, we can't put Cassie anywhere. We really haven't been able to do too much with Cassie, because there aren't too many levels so far with water, or at least water with a very applicable spot to it. So there's two Ice Kings on the map. <laughs> sort of weird. But hey, let's start working on this now. So I'm gonna start increasing the abilities of people. Might as well increase the abilities of the closest possible person, which is Wildberry Princess. I mean, at the same time, I would really, really like to just be able to get Brofest, but I don't know, maybe it's not really worth it at all. I mean, we get money a lot easier. Maybe now's the chance just to sneak in BMO, get some extra money that way. That could work. Let's go for it. I mean, we're almost halfway through with everything already anyway, so. Things are going pretty well. Lots of reds, but also some pinks sne sneaking in there. And we do have stuff like, you know, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I forget her name every time. Elephant Lady, I, I can't believe, I Tree Trunks, that's her name. Tree Trunks will give us health back if we need it. I do wanna try her soon, because I actually haven't tried her as a unit. Even though we played in Tree Trunks's, at Tree Trunks' yard last episode. Or was that the episode before? I think that was last episode. Pretty good. Okay, so BMO, let's cash in that cash, $300. This should be pretty easy to earn at the 500 at this point in the game. Like, maybe this is a smarter strategy, maybe rushing BMO right away isn't as effective. I think in the long run it is, but it, it's also risking some amount. I mean, these rounds are still pretty easy here in round 15. Like, it's just a bunch of blues. Like, I don't even, like, Jake is on 92 damage. Max is on four damage. Of course, Finn is done 875, so like, he's doing well. Everybody else, like, has not had the chance to touch anything. Hmm. All right, so getting 500, there it is. Not bad, so we can just let BMO do her thing for a while. Hopefully. I don't know what happened to the Max Adventure pack. Like, the 24 hours ran out for that, and I've never seen it since. Like, was it really just like a launch event thing? It was like $5 for each one. Let's do the quick recovery there, and double trouble would be really nice. But now that we've done it this way, I think it'll be fine just to upgrade these guys linearly, just like one at a time. Chances are we'll be able to survive it just fine. I mean, there might be some protections we wanna take, like being able to see camo. So like actually what's work for that stuff first. I don't know why I wouldn't. And also like leads. I don't know who's gonna deal with the leads right now. I mean, if we could get Ice King, get all of his stuff, that would help. So maybe we'll worry about that a little bit. Get $100 there. Then we're gonna need the ice bolts as soon as possible. So I wouldn't want, because in a couple rounds we do have the blue camo showing up, which aren't too much of a threat. Then a couple rounds from then, that's when things get a bit more scary. Ice bolts. Another $76. So we just seen lightning strike. $1,100 is a bit more expensive, but doable. So I could have overdone it a little bit with all the units. We probably didn't need this much. I'm sure we could have gotten away with Finn, Jake, Ice King, and like Wildberry Princess. I don't think we need too much more than that. But hey, we'll give this a shot and see what ends up happening. That was another round done, we're on 22. Was it round 25 that the camo shows up? I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember that. Keep it in my memory. I'm pretty sure that's the case. All right, so far so good. I do wanna give a big thank you to everybody supporting the series. I've had a lot of fun with it so far, and it's just been a good time. I know the game is about to get real challenging. Like, we're running into some challenging levels. Two episodes ago, we had the, the wizard battle arena. That one was very tough. And I'm expecting more to start popping up that are gonna be like that. Okay, we got the lightning strike. So now we gotta get the crown influence, which should be just in a moment, like that. And with it, we gotta get wizard eyes. Because right now, I think you can already take care of leads. So we get them to deal with camos as well. Things will just really be going our way. So, uh, $400 is right. Oh yeah, here come the camos. Okay, so that's where it becomes a bit more of an issue. But Max can deal with it for now. I mean, Max has that added pop to him, which will help overall. I just feel like Max, out of all of the units we started with, you know, Finn, Jake, and Max, Max is sort of the weakest one in a lot of ways. I mean, he has some particular things about him that are really nice, but 
His attack speed's really slow, which makes him tough to work with. Maybe I'll try to work with him a bit more. Maybe we'll do like a max uh, Lumpy Space Princess combo. And maybe that'll be a bit more durable in the long run. Hard to say. Or maybe they like max in a Dart Monkey. That could work as well. But for now, things are going all right. I think we could do faster freezing. He'll attack a little bit faster, which is nice. And then we could do colder ice. Hailstorm might be good. But do I really need to max out Ice King any more than I have? We could just work on Finn and Jake. Yeah, that might be good too. But we got $276 from BMO, thank you. You're the best. All right, so that was pretty good. Okay, yeah, you can see the leads just immediately get zapped. But that means I do need to focus you on strongest. That way you can always focus on the leads. And that's working out just fine. Awesome. Because they would have to loop around one more time before they even could get out of here, keep in mind. All right. So hopefully we can get to 450. We should be able to, it's just 100 away. And that'll get us to right in the glove. So at this rate, we're about to hit the final round. This really wasn't any more difficult. I don't really know what the big, I mean, I guess we got a lot of white balloons this time. That seemed like it was a little bit more difficult. But no Moab, that's sort of the big thing. There was no Moab there. And like, Max would clear those guys out no problem. I mean, definitely Ice King helped. But man, oh man, not a problem. Let's do, uh, let's, Actually, there we go, Never mind. level complete. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. So we got that done and we get a red crystal chest. What will this have inside of it? I don't know. Some coins, that's good. Firewood and 35 shards and a wish orb. I think the firewood is for the flame princess? Hmm, okay. Let us move home. Pierces the number of different balloons and attack can hit. That's good to know. Whoa, we got a level up. We're getting the 675 starting cash. And we get this wish orb. What is gonna be in this one? Hmm. Not bad, okay, so let's try this out. Uh, this is the magic powder. 25% chance balloons hits will be stunned for one second. That is pretty crazy, actually. And then condiments. 10% chance to transform balloons that are pink or stronger into yellows on hit. Hmm, 3% chance to turn them un into reds instead. That actually is really good as well. I mean, out of all these, I think I, I would like the magic powder a bit more, especially since it's a, lot, a little less common. I really want that one, but I'm not gonna spend 50 gems for it. That doesn't seem worth it. Don't even have those, so. All right, so that was, that was very interesting. I mean, maybe it's normally two skulls, and I just didn't even realize. It's funny, because it's not really that tough of a level to even merit two. Odd. For sure, but it was cool to get some extra rewards out of that. I mean, we got a chest out of it, which was pretty nice as well. What I wanna do is go to our characters and see who can equip that new thing. I didn't really take a look at that. It looks like everybody can. Honestly, I would love to put that on somebody like Finn because it would be really effective there. What about the glove? What does the glove do? Plus three pierce, yeah, that's good. And then there's this. One damage to shield balloons. I think I'm gonna unequip that here and we're gonna get the thing we just got, if we can. Because I think it's gonna be even better. Yep, we got the new thing, info. What is it called again? The magic powder. All attacks come with a, a dusting of magic powder, which has a chance to put balloons to sleep. That sounds really good. Because, you know, he starts off pretty early on anyways. I feel like that'll be a nice effect. Maybe we can give something effective to Max as well. I mean, he has some good stuff already. He already has one of his own. One, well, plus one damage to camel balloons, that sounds really good. So we'll leave that there. We will check out, who, who else even has some slots? You do. I can give you something. I mean, I can give you a sandwich, which once again, what does this do? 2% extra attack speed. So that's good for Ice King. And then we can also give him the other thing, the shielded balloons, which I guess he's already going against shielded balloons with the, uh, are, are camo shielded or the purple shielded? I don't really know. Hard to say. So there is that done. And then Jake, what can I give you, buddy? You are maxed out, that's good to see. And then maybe PB? PB definitely can use some extra stuff. But can she take anything? She can take this, which on the base level, this gives 10% more range, which isn't bad, for sure. Okay, so we got all that done. I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out what we should do next, I don't really know. Um, like, is there anything specific the game wants me to do? Oh, is there something new with the flame princess? I don't know. Like maybe it'd be good to focus on PB over here. We got the Candy Kingdom Necro Candy. Which level is it? Is this guy over here? I guess we could try this. I don't know if it would work out at all. The balloons are using Decorpsinator Serum to terrorize the Candy Kingdom. Okay, and this unlocks 
Another PB character. Weird. Necro Candy. Oh, these, I don't know if I can handle this. Like, look at how difficult that looks. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know, maybe we should just purchase and showcase a character for today's episode, I don't really know. I mean, what we could do is we could just replay the uh, Ice King level, just because I'm trying to build up my characters to make them more powerful. The last thing I want to do is like sit here and try several episodes on a level that I'm just going to get my butt beat on. So I think that the best idea for me is to start replaying some levels where we can get some extra stuff on like the silver difficulty. So the most sensible thing is to go back here, play this again with tree trunks, and then, uh, yeah, try to get the silver one done this time. So go into here, get the silver. Characters will attack the balloons automatically, just drag them onto the map and let them do their stuff. So these areas are pretty easy, but this will be different because we'll be able to see some Moabs and stuff. That'll be good. Next episode though, either I'll buy a new character to showcase them or I will go ahead and try one of these harder levels. I just want to build my characters up at least a bit more because I feel like they're not prepared for that at all, you know? So we'll put you here and then maybe we'll just, yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll do you from here. That should be nice, right? So we'll work on that. Like, I mean, you can pop these really nicely from here. And they have to loop around the apple twice, so that'll be pretty effective. And then we'll just get more and more rewards for the more things we complete, and hopefully more level ups. The level ups are sort of the big thing, because they, lots of things are locked behind the level ups. Okay, so we'll try this out, see how things end up going. But PB and Max, they make a great combo. Not PB, uh, Lumpy Space Princess and Max. Maybe we'll use PB after this, though. Don't want to combo up with anything. Even though I'd love to see Finn's new move. Love to see. I, I'm probably. I'm pretty sure we can handle a lot of stuff just with this combo for a while. And really build up Max for a while. Hmm. I mean, we could probably leave it like this and see how things go. I mean, it's a little bit slower compared to the Finn and Jake because you know they are actively slowing down the balloons, which just makes it take longer to take out. But if we could earn up that 700, that'd be pretty good. Hmm. Because like you can see, this is uh, Max's ability. But we can't get that until he's level seven. That takes a lot of work and a lot of time. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on what levels I should tackle next, let me know. Because I don't know, maybe I'm over anticipating how difficult these will be and I just need to calm down and do them. I mean, that's sort of the thing about the wizard battle. That was really tough. And even completing it didn't even get us a character, which was, uh, in my opinion, pretty lame. I didn't like that. But we'll have to complete it again sometime. Let's do, uh, actually I wanna save up for more darts. I think it's better for him to have more darts than it would be to have stronger darts at the moment, because it's just a lot of weaker balloons right now. So I got that. We will do sharper darts in a moment. Enhance range. I mean, of course it increases the range and also gives him a sight of camo, which we don't need that for a while. Like his range is fine, to be honest with you. And we're destroying every balloon that comes this way anyways, so I think it'll be okay. Okay, so we're almost at 225, we'll get sharper darts. Hold on, don't slow things down, in fact, speed them up as much as possible. There it is. See, that's actually a pretty good combo already. We could do enhanced ranges so we can move on to the next couple of things, like there's the uh, the heated tips and everything. That might be good. But yeah, he doesn't get triple darts until he gets level three, which I would hope that we would have gotten by now, but no. It is definitely a lot more difficult to make progress in this game than it is BDD6, where we have to, uh, you know, just play with those characters, we get the level ups here. It's a lot more involved of a process. Let's get the 150 for that, and then Hot Tips is a bit more expensive, but probably worth it. I mean, I don't know if they do anything more than melt lead balloons, but we will we'll need to do that at some point or another, so it's worthwhile. Oh, okay, so our first balloon got by, but that's where maybe upgrading Lumpy might be good, because she can actually do some damage too. So these two just make an effective combo in that way. Go ahead and get rid of that. So I don't know if I should even bother saving up for BMO, or at least not anytime soon, maybe by like round 15. But this is where things get a bit more faster, where it's good to sort of have Lumpy slow them down more. So these lumps, we'll get that, and then 224 can't handle this. Seduces balloons uh, or was it significantly quicker. So it's it impressively. All right, 220, and then 300 for the gotcha, because that'll actually do damage. And that'll be really, really good. Got a little bit to go before we really get there, though. <laughs> Come on now. More and more, we're, we're about halfway, almost. $150, okay. Dude, this round we should be good. And we're almost halfway there. 
for the entire, oh no, no, I was thinking we were gonna survive 30 rounds, we gotta survive 45, so it might be worth it soon enough. Like, I got the gotcha, so maybe now we should just save up straight up for 700, because if we have a long form of stuff, like we're going 15 rounds longer than we're normally used to, you know? So that's gonna be good to keep in mind. And I know we did this level yesterday, or last episode, or whatever that was, so I'm sorry that we're doing it again today. It's just a matter of, you know, I feel like it's sort of the best thing to do right now to level up our characters and make them more prepared for some of these harder levels I do want to tackle in future episodes. But yeah, we'll get Bima, we'll earn up a good stack of cash, but with Lumpy just going at it like she is, it's actually easier than ever, so that's really, really nice. We're gonna put Bima over there, and we're just waiting for you to earn up another 300. And then also make you focus on strong. That'll help. So, yep, yeah, waiting for $300, which should just happen in a moment. Or whenever this round ends, I suppose. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Ka-ching. There we go, 300. There we go. <laughs> very, very nice. So, I like it. And then we can use that to get some interesting stuff. But this seems like it's gonna handle everything that comes in its way for a while. I mean, really, the best thing I can think of is having Finn and Jake on the other side to really slow things down. But maybe we can even have them towards the top. Might not be that bad of an idea. The only thing is that the placement is weird on a map like this, you know? Hard to really execute anything effective more than, you know, the fact that the map is just easy because they have to loop around twice. But I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Now that we got maximum BMO, pretty easily as well, things should be easy to handle in that way. I think that we will go ahead and do Finn now. And I guess I'll get him over here. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. That way it protects them on their way out as well and then we'll get more money from you so that we can get Jake, and Jake can get closer to the center, because Jake is cool. That's it. As we still have a, a massive 25 rounds to survive this, so we'll get to it. It would be cool if they actually had a Bloons crossover episode in Adventure Time. I know that, uh, like I've said previously, there was an Adventure Time Minecraft crossover episode, which I thought was awesome, but I would think it would be fun to do the same thing with Bloons, you know, just have the whole episode basically what this game is, you know? I thought that'd be like a pretty cool idea just to try out. So there we go, we got the anti-lead. Since we are, are getting up there in the rounds, I think it's gonna be worth defending. Should we do fast throw? I don't know if that's too much worth it. I think it'd be more financially viable just, you know, when they get limber limbs, sword player. I don't know if he's actually gonna be real, able to reach those guys at all though. I thought there was another upgrade for his range just for a little bit more, but I guess not. Um, let's do rather faster. Sword master, maybe. I don't know, should we be bothering upgrading him this much? If he's not gonna reach those, we'll try Axe Foot for, for Jake. That might be better. Hmm, 24 more dollars like this. Very nice. So we just need 300, or 350 actually to get the Mace Hand. But we're just gonna keep upgrading Jake for now because he just has some pretty easy available upgrades to get that are nice and effective. I mean, Jake's a really good tower on his own. It's just, I really appreciate his synergies with Finn as well, so that's why I try to work on those guys together. Because Finn's very reliable early on, but I think that Jake gets more effective the later it goes on. He has Butt Push, and then he has the Harmful of Swallowed, which makes a huge difference. So now we have 20 rounds to go after this. That was pretty easy, of course. 132 damage. Okay, we almost have the Jake of all trades. All the stats go up. And then I definitely, I think I'm just gonna focus on Jake here for a while. Because uh, he can do the tie him up later. Ties up in nearby Moab and damages it. That sounds fantastic, but I don't think it's necessary right now. I think what's more necessary is uh, getting the I'm the musical one, maybe getting $1,000 for the Harmful of Swallowed because that just really clogs up all of the balloons trying to make their way in, makes it harder for them to survive. I did not want to pause, I'm sorry. So we'll just go for the 1,000 right now. Whoa, ho, ho, we made a lot of money this round right now. That's just like a lot of balloons just pouring in that we're making cash over. I like that one, let's have, let's have more like that. I don't know, I really like some of the more, like, it sort of gets a little boring when it rounds at end, uh, ends at round 30, because that's right when things are starting to get exciting. I mean, I've lost there plenty of times by just not playing very well, so don't want that to happen. Okay, here come more, more difficult to handle camos. And this is what I'm saying, like, Max, we, we build him up all round, and that's all he can handle when it comes to the camos? Like, I just feel like he's not as effective as he should be. As just like a tower in general, it's sort of weird. We'll do the butt push. And he has the harmful of swallowed so that if there is a lot of uh, loons popping up, he can handle them. 
Okay, so uh, maybe instead of, uh, what's it called? We'll do this. Increases attack speed after balloons escape, and then we can upgrade it again. That might be a good idea. I mean, in the meantime, let's get $1,000 for, for, for Max here. See if we can't do the fast throw. Maybe that'll sincerely change him. Then we have Poptimization. Sharp weapons get in range, get increased pierce, which might be really a better idea. Maybe it's just because I'm not upgrading him enough. We are gonna start running into Moab soon, so getting his weak spots might be good as well. Maybe I'll do that now, just as a bit of a preparation. We're close enough to the other 451 already. And then there's Bullseye, which maybe we'll get, maybe we won't. I think we do plenty of damage, so look at him go. It's insane. Okay, ready? Got it, very good. So with that, I mean, that's the best you can do with your current upgrades. Like this would require level three, max throws even more darts each time. Maybe that's why I really can't. If I had triple darts, maybe this would be easier. Then we have another activatable ability. Uh, max spins around firing darts everywhere. We also have get a cash bonus, and Max gets the last hit on a Moab. Okay, well that one's not too interesting, honestly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try getting PB in the mix, save up $650, which should be pretty easy. Oh my gosh, he destroys them so quickly. It's moved so fast. And then like, you know, they come for the second loop and they're done for. There's nothing they can really do. All right, we almost have enough. We just need five more. Here, hold on. Boop, got it. And PB can just be right here in the center. Actually, a little bit closer like that. Not bad. So for this, this costs what? What do you mean needs Bubblegum Princess nearby? She's right there! What are you talking about? Seller, rebuyer. Okay, so is this in the range? You're so picky. 1500, we can do that. That was so baloney. Total, total baloney. That's probably why I should do, probably do pop and lock. Why, what, what, what about all the black balloons there? Oh boy, that was a little scary. Um, There we go, there we go. It looks like PB can handle them, no problem. We're fine. So you're bound by word, increase attack speed after balloon escapes. But then we have an upgrade for PB that'll make it so that upgrade is permanent. It doesn't matter if a balloon escapes. So that would be really good to have. So go ahead and do that. And then where is the one Royal Promise? We needed a Regal Presence and Royal Promise. Okay, I gotcha. But everybody should be in, in, increased by Regal Presence, which will be really great. Everybody in range right now, which is everybody we have. So super excited for that. All right, got it. Well, why don't, okay, there might be another one we need to get. We also need to get Unwavering Loyalty, gotcha. Which isn't too bad, $400 isn't that bad of a deal when we're this far in. Still haven't run into Moas, but we're getting Camo Leads now, which are a little scary. Zebra Balloons are sneaking by. We're handling them one way or another. Okay, so Unwavering Loyalty, and then 1500 for the Royal Promise so that he has permanently active Bound by Word. Sounds great. That was 1500, yeah. Pretty expensive though. Look at Jake go, he just eats a bunch of those, spits them all back out. Oh, there was a ceramic sneaking by there. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that one. That's why we have that second loop. Come on, come on, come on. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Nice job. Not even a problem. Nice, and we got immediately 1500. Your royal promise. Okay, not bad, I'm really happy with all this. Fun round, Oh, oh, that was scary. Oh, these regrows actually might be a huge issue. I need Jake to be stronger. Um, collect $92 of that. Let's get whatever we can get. Ride as fastest, get another $200. Ooh, that is scary. The, the regrows are popping right now. We are getting rid of some of them. Let's do Swordmaster. Slow this down again so I can get $40 there. And just start popping these things as fast as you can, guys. Because this actually just got suddenly really, really crazy difficult. Why, 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 why is it so bad now? Why is it so bad now? What happened? What happened? I don't understand. <laughs> we just got destroyed. I really don't understand. Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's the worst. All right, well, whenever I try something, like, oh, I wanna try a new strategy, maybe this'll be easier. It never is easier. It's always just easier to go Finn and Jake and just go Brofist every single time. That's sort of maddening. I don't know. Right now, our buddy Finn can handle it from here. Ugh. That is such a bummer. Just like, I don't know, it feels like there's that one strategy that works, and if you wanna try anything else, well, good luck. Okay, so let's try to get Brofist. I don't know if that's in the range for Brofist. If it isn't, I'm tempted just to restart. I think I'm gonna restart real quick. Oh, this is the worst so far. Like, not a good start at all. Uh, Maybe I'll mix it up. 
and put them here? Just to, you know, make it a little bit more open? I don't know, maybe this would work like, nah, that's a dumb idea. Restart again, one more time, we'll restart. Where's the pause button, it's over here. Restart the game, yep. And I guess I'll just do here. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to say. <laughs> this is such a tough game, especially like when I try new strategies, they just don't work out well. Cause I just don't know, I mean, should I have upgraded Finn more? Is that why we couldn't handle the regrows there whatsoever? Cause we just could not handle them. Like at all, it was a mess. So now that we got these two, we're just gonna save up for BMO, cause these first couple rounds, they're easy as pie. Get it? Cause you know, Tree Trunk sells pie, or she makes pie, apple pie. So we're just gonna keep with that, earn up the 700, then BMO's gonna be making cash, and that'll be nice, and then we'll be able to get a bunch of people. Maybe it's just better to get Ice King over PB. Maybe that's the idea. Hard to say. <laughs> Definitely hard to say. So yeah, let's earn up as much as we can with all of this. And then and by like round like six or seven, we should have at least BMO set up. And we'll get a hundred dollars per round. So not even that, probably by round five we should have it. Especially with how fast Jake is just taking out all this stuff. Not bad, dude, not bad. But yeah, sorry this is this went so badly. <laughs> I wanna be able to get the next level done after this too, so. I mean, that one doesn't seem so bad, but you never know anymore. It's just like, I thought I was fine. I thought this was gonna be easy. And then there's like, boom, one round of just destroying us. It's just like, what the heck? I'll try to get more spread out units this time, but even that can be a bit more difficult on this map. Hmm. Okay, so BMO's coming up in just a couple of seconds. Just gotta destroy a couple more balloons. And got it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep BMO there for now just because it was convenient, hopefully. It won't be in the way. No, 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 not what I wanted. Okay, so, uh, yeah, things are going all right. We should still be able to keep up with this for a good while. I think that, because, you know, once again, these balloons do have to loop around twice. It was, it's still bizarre to me that they couldn't make it, you know? They couldn't make it happen in those two loops for that round that we failed on. So I'm just gonna really focus on maxing out Finn and Jake. I'm gonna sort of go from there. Oh, get this money. What am I doing, what am I doing? Keep moving, team, keep moving. Get the $500, and then Bino can just do her thing, and then we'll, you know, move on from there. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is going pretty well so far. $400, so we'll definitely at least get it by the end of this round, there it is, nice. Go Bimo indeed. So we're gonna focus on riding the gloves, and then focus on uh, Brofist, and then we'll have that as early as basically I physically can have it. I mean, I'm sure we could have been fine with just having Finn and not having Jake, but then what's the point of the Brofist, you know? So we had to get him sooner or later anyway, so not that big of a deal. Get $100 there. And got it, cool. So $1,400, that's what we're focusing on now. Because the rounds I've done, Brofist, those rounds have worked out, especially BMO Brofist. And then maybe we'll get the Wildberry Princess back out here. Wildberry Princess, Ice King, Max would still be good to have. It's just having him as a primary focus of our team just never seems to work. Now let's get more stuff moving, team. Almost at $600 already, so we're making some good speedy stuff happen now. Might even be better than uh, last round. I think it will be. I think if we just focus on this, it, it definitely will be better than the last round. Okay, this this round's looking a little bit scarier, but even then, we're like we're able to handle it because it's like Finn just keeps slicing and kicking, slicing and kicking. So just keep doing that, dude. And it's like even if it is the first round that overwhelms a little bit with a yellow balloon, it's no problem. It just loops around twice, then we destroy it. It's gone. Easy as that. Okay, there's the 1500. Get the bro fist. There, we're good. We don't have to worry about it anymore, which is really what I wanted. Now we could do sword player. Get $200 for the Ratter Faster before we get Sword Master, which increases Pierce, but I don't really need Pierce increasing too much at the ver at this very moment. I think it's just better to move faster. Okay, so now we can do Ratter's Fastest, because Flying Kick is good against Moabs, which we didn't even get to a Moab last round. I was trying to prepare for that, and this ended up not being worth it whatsoever. Let's do Sword Master. Limber Limbs will probably be a pretty good idea. Slicer adds what? Increases damage from sword attacks. Sounds great to me. I mean, Finn does have a pretty good sword. Let's get a swing away at all that stuff. And we'll see what we can do about it. Hmm, got it. 
It would be pretty cool just to sort of see, you know, an episode of just all different monkeys coming in to help Finn and Jake as they defeat all the balloons. And maybe they could get into the lore balloons, where these balloons have come from, what have they been doing all this time? Like, what is their real even evil intentions? I feel like that'd be fun. So yeah, now with that being done, I'm gonna get Max out here, and I think we will just put him here. And then we'll do long range, we'll do enhanced stuff. So now he can already see camos, which is good. The next couple rounds shouldn't be so bad. Probably do sharper darts. We'll just start like upgrading him as fast as we can now. I mean, at least to some extent. I don't want to get every single thing for him, but if we could just, you know, get have him get rid of leads and get rid of camos to some extent, that would be great. Got the heavy tips, three fifty for that. Shouldn't be too bad. This is where money earning up money isn't as much of a challenge, especially with the brofist coming in. It's much easier, much much easier. That's why I really prefer it, and it gives us health back. So if we were to lose health, we're okay now. Like we'll be able to heal it back over time. As long as we're not losing a ton of health every time. All right, let's do Axe Foot. And then Magic Hand. Oh, that's, that's in Mace Hand, not Magic Hand. Okay, so just 50 more dollars for that one. We should be able to get it. There it is. The upgrading tickles. That's funny. But we don't have to worry about Moabs until at least round 30. At least. So we should just focus on other units for now. We could get Lumpy and like get her on this side. No, we could get her on this side. That's still pretty effective. Hey, girl. <laughs> I like imitating her, she's funny. Got it, there we go. So we'll probably just do, I mean, we could probably leave Max like that. I don't wanna mess with it too much. And look at that, Lumpy's already damaging stuff. How easy was that? These camos stand no chance. Let's have you focus on strong. Hmm, Jake slap, that's good. But yeah, I don't know if there's any character that has like an anti-heart balloon. Like, I would think maybe that'd be PV. Is there anything she has like that? I mean, she has super intelligence. PV's attack, remove camo, and regrow. So maybe I should have gotten that. Maybe that was my big downfall. So I could try that this time. Especially when she's in the range for all of this. I can sort of put her, I mean, I think a little more to the right would be a good idea. So doing something like that. And then, like $240. Get the regal presence, because that's still a really good move. Because we're still a little while away before that rainbow, or the, the heart round comes up. So we'll just keep working on this and sort of see what they, ends up happening. Hmm. All right, yeah. Let's go ahead and do super intelligence right now. Not bad. And everybody should have increased range, which is nice. The only problem is that the left side isn't too protected, but that's where stuff like, we could do the Wadberry Princess over there and that'll help. And then balloon science. Let's really upgrade her. She has like the jelly beans have power spray. A jet, a jet of balloon popping jelly beans might be nice, but it would be really hard to work towards. But like that's something for even harder difficulties. Hmm. There's something went by, but really it's not a big deal. It's like a blue camo. It's like two damage, and you know PB is gonna get rid of it anyways. Okay. Oh, nine hundred dollars already. Let's do unwavering loyalty. Let's do quick draw, and then gun expertise, and that's really all we can do for right now. Realistically. We'll do Princess Wildberry, we'll have her defend over here, because that just seems like a good idea. Royal effort, give her even more range. Look at that, she can even hit that. that. This is a really good ally, is her. Quick recovery, double trouble, is a little bit more expensive, but we can get to it. Sooner or later, we'll get to it. Uh, hold on, and at the end of this round, for sure. So now I want to focus on Ice King. This seems like the next natural part of the progression. I mean, at this point, it's just sort of playing all of our towers as much as we can. <laughs> Whoever we can play, play them. We got that $124. Let's get Ice King. We'll have him chill out, like, back here. And he will do Ice Bolts. We'll get BMO money. All right, so this isn't so bad so far. We just need the 1100, which actually is really easy to save up for now. It's only, you know, we're already halfway there with the 5500, or five, 550, yeah. That's half of 1100. And then get a little bit more money from BMO, and Lightning Strike, there it is. Easy as that. We'll have him focus on strong as well. And then we'll do Crown Influence, and then $400 for that shouldn't be too bad either. There it is. 
The Brofist really does make a big difference. Personally, that's how I feel. Of course, if you disagree, that's totally fine. I love hearing your guys' opinions. But I don't know, it just feels like it's always effective for me. We'll do colder ice. Maybe faster freezing, that extra attack speed's always appreciated. Almost there, come on. There we go. Hmm. Not bad, we're destroying a lot of stuff here. Chilled to the bone, maybe? Penetrates more balloon layers, that sounds great. Hellstorm makes it so, unleashes even more ice bolts, which I think that's what these are, that is, I mean, these are lightning strikes bolts, I don't know. I don't know if that's entirely worth it at the moment. Freeze lightning is definitely worth it. Winter weather is good for if, you know, if there are more targets getting past him. But I think we're doing better than last round so far. I don't even know, I haven't really been keeping count, to be honest with you. I've sort of lost track. I've just been focusing on trying to get people as prepared for Moabs now. Um, so we'll probably do, you know, let's go ahead and do Moab Ripper. Cause there are gonna be Moab show, showing up soon. If they haven't already shown up, I've been focused so much on upgrading Ice King and stuff, or on round 40, things are gonna get nasty soon, that's for sure. Uh, but we can do weak spots, that's pretty easy. More darts is really easy. Um, saving up the 1,000 for the flying kick, so that stuns the damage as Moab class bones. Stunning them would be huge right now, so that's really what I'm looking for. Get $100 from you, and got it, nice. So that makes it a whole lot less worrisome. Probably wanna finish, focus on Jake then, because honestly, he could use a couple of upgrades. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna use the most upgrades, I think, right now. So I'll probably just start with the most expensive out of the two I wanted, which is gonna be Butt Push and then Jake of All Trades. I wanna get, you know, tie him up. I don't think it's entirely necessary at this exact moment. There was a Moab, we destroyed it, no problem. Man, I don't know if I wanna do the uh, Harmful of Swallowed for Jake. Sometimes I feel like it slows down the gameplay in a bad way. I'm just glad that PB can be in a spot that can improve everybody to some extent. Maybe we can do Bullseye for max, like that wouldn't be too bad. 2500 is pretty affordable. I mean, we only have one more round to go, so I don't even know if we'll get 2500, but I'll try for it. Hmm, not quite really at all. So here's the last round. We got a couple mobs to deal with, but really it isn't that big of a sweat, and we're gonna get it. Yeah, they can't even get past this first bit. Oh no, there's still more, there's still more. Here comes another Moab. Still not a problem. It wishes it could be, but it can't. 2,500, and then there we go, we end it. <laughs> that was it, we activated that ability. Didn't even get to activate the ability, we bought the ability, and then we couldn't use it. Totally fine, level complete. Tree Trunks' house done on silver. Let's see what cool rewards we get for this one. Hopefully something good, maybe a level up for a character would be a big thing for me. Coins, gems, candy, and then Wish Orb, not bad. 90 experience as well. Really, really good, so. I don't know who takes the candy, I gotta imagine Princess Bubblegum. Using low time powers can make the difference between success and failure. We're aware, so let's check out this green wish orb. Should give me something worthwhile, right? We got the, the rainbow glitter wand, which we already have. We have the war paint mud, that's new. Reduces ability cooldowns by 6%, additional 1% cooldown reduction for each other character with war paint mud. That doesn't sound too good right now because I don't have really too many ability people. Powering Pierce, no special properties, just gives plus two Pierce. I feel like that's our best bet, because who else uses wands? Like, does anybody, any character I have right now use wands? No, so I think that's not worth it right now, because I don't know when I'm gonna get those characters. Might be any, not anytime soon. So let's give somebody plus two Pierce. That sounds nice and effective, and we'll discard this stuff. Okay, so not too bad. Some upgrades might be enough for a level up for PB. I would really, really hope so. So we're gonna go to the next level, and uh, first choose PB. Not quite, she needs five more, yikes. Uh, I could give her the plus two Pierce, but I feel like it might be better in somebody like Jake. I mean, I'm trying to give a lot of stuff to Max to make him more effective, because he really, really needs that. But I don't know what more I could fit in there that wouldn't take away. I mean, we need two more levels until our next trinket, apparently. Oh no, he's still level one. That's another thing, is he still just level one? I need more bananas for him. How can I get more bananas? Like you can buy some of this stuff, like meatballs pack, five dollars though, wow, that's really expensive. That is really, really, really expensive. Never mind, <laughs> not doing that. Hmm, he might just be in this tough spot for a while then, if I get some info about this one. I don't know if five plus five percent range is better, because he already has decent range. If we instead, I mean, maybe it was plus 7% range, like that's nice, but not better than more Pierce, which is what he uh, like really needs, I would think. 
So yeah, let's continue on. We're gonna do hard mode for this one. Your characters will attack the balloons automatically and just drag them onto the map and let them do their stuff. I would really hope that anybody reading that would know that at this point. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna stick with the same strategy. I might even keep it a little bit more tame and just keep it with Finn and rush BMO. So yeah, I think putting him here will be a good idea. Get this party started and then just get the 700. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, if I really, really wanted the Russia, I could get one of their superpowers that gives me extra money. I got the crown, but I feel like I'd need to save those for some more difficult things down the road. But look at this, we already have $500. That's really nice. I don't know if, a, maybe a dart monkey could handle these, you know? Like, maybe that's a smarter thing to do is get a dart monkey rush BMO. I mean, that might lead into some damage later on. Not really sure. But that's something I do need to experiment with and look into. Okay, so we're at, oh. And it loops around this top part twice, like it's a really, really easy map. 639, closes power up bar. Just need, by the end of this round, we'll definitely have enough and then a little bit more beyond that. Because we'll, we're gonna have 700 coming up real soon. Hopefully before the end of this round. Uh, not quite. Oh, oh no, there's more, there's more. Look at him swing, he's going for it. And boom, got it, good job. So we need $300, which we probably won't get this round, but you never, but round three BMO, without taking any damage or doing anything ridiculous. That's really, really good. I like it. And we're already halfway there for uh, getting the B more. So we should be able to get that no problem. So I'm really trying to maximize that strategy to make it as effective as possible, because it seems like it's sort of the best thing you can possibly do. Like, I don't know how you survive this stuff without all that stuff. I mean, I guess you could, it would just be a lot more difficult for sure. So, got the B more. And it looks like we're about to get another $100 from completing this. Very nice. Okay, so we'll just try to rush $500 now. And that'll be a max out BMO by round seven. Like, how insane is that? Now we can get Jake out, get the bro fist, and just keep rolling with that. Rolling with the punches, get as far as we can. I think things will turn out quite well. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. As difficult and as sometimes expensive as it may be. I do like it. I do like the little $5 packs. I think they're good, like the $5 packs that come with an ability, like the adventure packs. We've opened up two of them so far. I think they're the coolest thing yet. Okay, so we got that done. So this is where Jake or Finn might start getting a little overwhelmed and that's why we're gonna roll in Jake. But even then, he seems to be handling it with almost no issue. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've been having fun with it. Hopefully we can see more adventure packs if I can find the max adventure pack. I don't know if those things ever pop up ever again. It'd be sort of weird if they don't. I don't know, but I'm, I'm definitely interested in supporting this game as it continues onward, because it's a lot of fun. So there is Jake. If I could put him here, that'd be great. Oh, no, nah, not quite. We'll just put him there. It's all right, it's something. Hmm. Yeah, we'll work with that. And they're all just gonna do their thing. I mean, luckily, Jake has good enough range to reach a decent amount. It would be cool if he had some range upgrades, but he doesn't really. So yeah, we're just gonna rush the 450. I mean, riding the gloves is a pretty effective move, so I really don't mind much. All right, there we go, $500. That was really good, actually. Good money there. So 1400 is gonna be a bit of a challenge to save up, but as always, we will find a way. Especially since a lot of blues and reds, like we might run into some greens and yellows soon, but they still have the double route to get through. I would love to do a bit with Cassie this round, but I don't really trust it at all, because you never really know which side they're gonna pop out on. I mean, if we earn up enough money in the right ways, it would definitely be possible. So maybe I'll focus on that and like sort of build some characters to the right and then put Cassie on the left. Like that might work. Okay, get some money from BMO. You guys are destroying the yellows. Hopefully, I mean, you're trying to. This is actually getting a little scary because this is a lot of them, but once again, they got through that second loop and then they just get destroyed. The yellows just like move so quick and like that's what's tough about them is it's hard to keep up. But as soon as you lower them, you know, you know, greens or blues or reds, they're fine. But I mean, Jake, sh I mean, Finn should be, yeah, he does stun them sometimes, or is that his kick? That's not his kick because he doesn't really kick at those times. I don't know, it's pretty good though. With some of the trinkets we've been getting in today's episode, I definitely think it makes a huge difference. And that's sort of the thing about this game, it has such a focus on these different level ups and trinkets and stuff. You really, like they're a big part of success. Okay, we're handling that, no problem. It's a little bit more money, come on. Almost at that 1400, there it is. So boom, Brofist before this round ends. Around 13 Brofist, things are getting a little bit scary. 
but that's why we can start upgrading them now. So let's do Sword Player, let's do Ratter Faster. Brofist was definitely worthwhile there. Got us a lot of money right away as we completed that round. Okay, so let's do Sword Master. We'll do Ratter's Fastest as soon as that is available. And then we haven't even increased his range yet. We don't really even need it. These guys just get destroyed. So Ratter's Fastest. And then we'll do Limber Limbs. There we go, so, oh, we'll do Slash. I was gonna say, that's where we'll probably leave Finn. We'll get him a little bit more. Cause I wanna try new towers, but it's been getting tougher and tougher to try them. And like, I'll buy those other ones for like $25 each, but only if I have to, right? Like, I think you can also unlock them in game. It's just not easy. Cause I, ha I did see some missions with those characters. So I think that you can unlock them in game without having to buy them, which would be, in my opinion, a bit cooler than having just to buy them with real money. I feel like I only wanna do that if that's the only way to get them. That's how I am with like most of these games where they have these like in-game purchases. I wanna make sure that if I buy something, it's because there's no real other practical way to get it or I'm showcasing it to you guys. Like if it is a pack, that seems worth it to me to buy to showcase it. But if it literally is just buying a character, I would rather earn that character in-game. And I feel like that's a pretty easy way to go about it and it seems like most people appreciate it. All right, so before we get too much more, I probably just wanna get more units up. So I'm gonna put PB over this way. Get ready for some science! Science, yes! And then probably put Max somewhere. I wanna put Max like over here. Or maybe like once again, more focused on this corner. That way if things do overwhelm and push through, we can handle it in more than one way. Like I feel like that's sort of the best bet. I'm very okay, so let's go ahead and immediately do long range and sharp darts. We're a little bit away from having to deal with camos, but it's coming up, so I'll start getting ready for that as well, 278. But then we'll get Ice King on this side as well. And then lastly, we'll get Cassie on the far left. And I think that'll be pretty effective. Sharper darts, we'll probably leave it like that for now and try to get Ice King now. And then once we get all the towers we want, then we can focus all in on upgrading them because as long as we just get all that kind of stuff figured out before round 30, I think that's gonna be all the effectiveness we really need. Okay, so Ice King is $700, we're getting there. There it is, Ice King buddy. I mean, maybe here is better for Ice King. I think so, because that way he can start attacking things right off the bat, or not. I mean, he sort of did there for a moment. Ice King, you're weird. I guess he can't reach him from there, that's a little odd. I think there is something that gives him larger re range though. So we'll just wait for that. Cause it seems like it's definitely going over those, but I guess they sort of start slightly farther out from that. Okay, we got Cassie over here. The good thing about Cassie is she actually has good enough range to start attacking some of those from just there. Like how insane is that? Very cool if you ask me. So let's start upgrading Jake maybe. Yeah, that might be good. We'll just try to upgrade as many people as we possibly can before round uh, 30. Starting with Jake, and then we'll also get Jake of all trades. Actually, I don't know if we need Jake of all trades right now. We'll, we'll focus on PB. Because Regal Presence will affect everybody in this range, which is really good. That's a lot of people. That's uh, three targets, not including her. <laughs> and these aren't really that big of a deal. This is a good chance to earn some extra money, get the Regal Presence. I don't know if we should get uh, the double darts or something like that. It might be good to get like heavy tips and then push forward for hot tips. Yeah, that'll probably be good. So just get a little bit more money. And once again, we're still not at round 30. We're doing great. He ain't playing. All right, so let's do super intelligence as well. I think that'll be good for the ones that do have to wrap around the long way, the balloons that do. That way like Cassie and Ice King can deal with those guys. And then we'll probably focus on the lightning bolt. I think that's the next next big thing. Lightning bolt from Ice King. Because I mean, I've played with Cassie in a way earlier episode, and we didn't really get too far into it, but we haven't leveled up Cassie. We haven't really gotten too much to level her up. I don't know if you have to use specific characters to even get level up pieces for them, if that's how it works. But even then, I don't think that's how it works. Because we've used Max almost every game ever, and we only have two bananas entirety in his entirety that we've ever gotten for him, and he needs three to just get one level up, you know? So I don't think that's the case. Anyways, uh, we got your thing, so now we're just focusing on getting Ice Bolts and then Lightning Strike, okay. That shouldn't be too bad. And then the Lightning Bolts will be great as well. So we're more than halfway there for the Lightning Bolts. Lightning Strike. And Cassie does some work, which is nice. She doesn't do too much right now, but if we can upgrade her, I'm sure she'll do amazing. 
I mean, usually these kind of, like, I think the boat had amazing range from what I remember. Okay, got it. There it is. And that makes things a bit more effective. Yeah, he can't currently see camos, but at least PB is turning them from camos into normal things, so that's nice. We'll probably just go ahead and get the camo protection right now because that's gonna continue happening with the camos. So, crown influence, and then wizard eyes. Look at how fast that was. That was a lot of money really fast. And let's, oh wow, and you have increased range now, so now you're really working. We will do colder ice, we'll do faster freezing. We're gonna make Ice King as powerful as we can right now because if we actually could get the Cold to the bone and then winter weather. I don't know if we could get winter weather right now. That might be a little bit far-fetched. But that would be pretty effective. The only problem is, is do we have too many units? Do we have too many units to develop our cash into for this to actually be effective? It's hard to say. Because there's a lot of units we can focus on and that's a little bit difficult. Let's focus both of these guys on strong like we usually do though. Because the Hellstorm, but that makes them attack faster which at this rate, I think it's just better to get the wind through weather. Because air around Ice King, like that's just gonna be in his range, I have to assume. So the moment they're spawned into the world, they're gonna get slowed down. Like that sounds amazing, but maybe it's not the best. Like we have heavy duty ammo. We can't do this one. Cassie and her allies attack faster and cost less. She doesn't have any allies, so it doesn't really matter too much. Heavy duty ammo, cannonballs create even bigger explosions. Let's try this one. And then long cannon, getting the longer range, not really too much. Crow's nest would be great because that also sees camo. So having more camo protection would be good. Okay, got that. The grape shot's always good as well. Yeah, we actually upgraded Cassie quite a lot the first time we played with her, which is why I wasn't too much in a rush to play with her again. But I sort of want to check it out again. Fire barrels, of course, Cassie loves an explosive fire barrel onto the track, which could be good. But I think that's some decent upgrade for her, at least for now. She's got some good range. She can see camo. She's got the grapes. Let's go ahead and maybe save up for like, Moab Ripper might be good. Jake of all trades will be nice. We'll get his musical upgrade as well. Because with this one, increases the boost given by Jake's musical instrument. Sounds nice, right? Because his musical instrument already boosts him up to some extent. So we'll do weak spots, that way if, uh, for those mobs that will be starting to come in sooner or later, we do have a little bit more preparation for them. Balloon Science is good against damage for ceramics and mobs, but what I really need to do is start protecting against, well I mean, I guess we already have the anti harp balloon, so maybe Gun Familiarity isn't too bad. And then Unwavering Loyalty. Guns do increase damage, I don't know if that's really all that necessary. Hmm. Hard to say, maybe Ice King is just our best bet. That is a lot of balloons though, like we're handling them. Definitely getting the earlier BMO has made a heck of a difference. Freezing and lightning is gonna be great. Now going for the Hellstorm, unless we really wanna do the winter weather, just so that they're frozen right away. That might be great. I think so. Because we seem to be handling things just about fine, but this is around where I got defeated that first round at, so you never know. I sneak up on me pretty massively. There's 1,200, we're almost halfway there then, just as we are. And we don't have stuff like Princess Wildberry, we don't even have a uh, Lumpy Space Princess yet right now. So, ooh, and the regrows are coming in, but we handle the regrows, no problemo! I love it! All right, Bimo, give me more cash. Because we're all less than 500 away from it. And then maybe we can focus on, uh, what's it called, Lumpy Space Princess. Maybe that would be the next best step. Maybe we could probably just fit her in between everybody. Oh my, that's like a scary amount of balloons, but we're handling it. There we go, winter weather, not a problem. Like Lumpy Space Princess is a really cheap tower as well, which helps. Oh, we can't really fit her in like that. We can do this though. Hi. She makes so many weird noises. All right, there's there's the Moab. Did, did Finn just yell boss battle? That's sort of a weird thing to yell, but okay. Well, actually, we're not having too good of a time with this. Oh, you froze him, that's nice. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, now you're handling it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Get the gotcha. Okay, so what's gonna be the ne next best thing for uh, anti-Moab? I mean, the Hailstorm is just ice bolts, but we'll try that. 
I mean, we could try tie him up, but that's pretty expensive as well. I think what's better is that the, the kick is good for stunning the Moabs. It's a pretty accessible costing one for going anti-Moab, so we'll try that. I mean, I try to use as many of the characters as I possibly can. Look at him just jump up and kick it. Interesting, I like it. Wow, look at them going. This is the last round right here, so whatever we can do to make things more effective, balloon science then, gun expertise will be nice. Oh gosh, this is getting a little scary actually. A little uncomfortable, but they're making it. They are making it work, I'm so proud of them. I think they just got it. Okay, we got some rainbows storming around really quickly, but that's fine, because he keeps freezing them. Look at that, level complete. Not bad, so on silver difficulty, give me a hug hero three. Very nice, and that is going to give us a silver chest once more, and then the big silver chest after this, so I think it was overall worth it. We got some coins, got some gems, got some dynamite. Who is the dynamite for, I forget. Wish orb, nice. Maybe for the pirate lady? I don't remember. So we, I think it was only a normal wish orb, yeah. I don't remember who the dynamite's for. Level up your characters, I know that much. Your powers will get more effective as your, your levels increase. Gotcha. So let's go ahead and tap and collect this one, and as you can see, adventure rewards, what do we get? Oh, it is. More coins, 150 of them, six gems, six anchors, nice, that's actually really good. That's gonna be for Cassie for sure, 60 shards, and a blue wish orb, a new power up as well, I don't think we've tried that one before. I am really excited to see that. Very cool, so uh, yeah, let's take a look. First off, we got the Grey Wish Orb. Anything new here, we do get a Uncommon, which isn't new, but this is our only new thing, it is the Monkey King's Robe. Upgrades are 1% cheaper. I don't feel like that's really worth it. And then we have Sniper Rifle again, which I don't, I don't know if we, we did get this, I guess. No special properties range plus 15%. And then we also have the Gauntlet of Bones. I feel like this is great, because like that's good for Jake. So I'll just get another Gauntlet of Bones. And we'll discard those two. I mean, maybe it's good to have one of everything, I don't know. Maybe I'm being really silly by getting that. But for now, we have ourselves three more things. What's it gonna be? Ooh, we get the pink sweater, candy seeds, and peacock hat. All three of these are new. For the pink sweater, Finn is protected from negative effects, electrified floors, lava, hot plates, etc. That sounds really nice. And then we also have Candy Seeds, heals three lost lives per round is okay. Not too bad, it's an interesting trinket. And then we got Peacock Hat, significantly increases effectiveness of any upgrades that require a specific character and range. Hmm, that feels like a little vague though, you know? So I feel like right now we'll keep with Finn. That way if we run into another level, like this will make it easier to survive that one wizard level and maybe be able to get the wizard next episode. So I'm actually really glad to get that. Achievement unlocked, I wish for three. So looks like we got some more achievements to cash in. So that'll be really awesome as well. And that's all we have for now. So we're to go to the characters because there's a couple things we can do then. First off, let's get Finn out here because he's ready to go and for good reasons. So let's actually swap this out probably because it just gives plus 2% extra attack speed. Yep, so swap that out and we're gonna give it to somebody else, I don't care who. But we're gonna give you this, because once again, all it does is finish protector from negative effects, a royal gift that will protect Finn from all hazards. Swap it out, sounds nice to me. And if we move over to somebody else, we can give it to them. For Cassie, she has enough, definitely for a level up. Isn't that awesome, collect anchors to gain levels. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Captain Cassie level up, slots unlocked, plus one for trinkets. Got some upgrades and everything. We don't have a weapon for her, do we? We don't. Okay, allies, not really much there. For trinkets though, what can she have? Okay, so she can have the sandwich, and then she could also, since she's a monkey, get increased, what was it, range for this? Like a plus 7%, which would be great, because the more range she gets, the better. Equip. Well yeah, it's plus two, and then plus 5% range of, yep, so plus seven in total. Very, very good. Hmm, don't know if there's too much we can do with everybody else. I wanna see who needs dynamite to level up. Like maybe it's Hunter Marcy, if I take a look at you. No, you need red. <laughs> Pretty sure it's just a tomato. And then there's Jake over here. I mean, I guess that it's, since it's also Jake, it's the same thing. C4 Charlie, probably. Okay, gotcha. So lastly, let's go ahead and check out our achievements. As you can see, we have I Wish for three. It's gonna give me 15, well, that's a lot, and 200 coins um, for one quest. And then we get one green orb, very nice. Pop 500 lead balloons, we'll be able to do that by next episode, get another 250 coins. 
promote a character to four stars. That's still something I'm trying to do. Homies help homies buy 20 upgrades that require another character. We're gonna get there sooner or later. Give me a hug hero, complete 10 adventures. I had a magic apple, my mistake too. Use 10 powers. Okay, so lots of cool stuff there. Let's, I guess I'll open up that power orb the next time it lets me. Don't know when that'll be. Not now, seemingly. Oh, here it is, okay, good. It's a green one too, so it's gonna be rare. No, it's uncommon. Greens and common, blue is rare. Okay, so we got the Power Ring of Chill, which we've already gotten. Super Fans, which is a new ally, or Banana Guards, which are another ally. For the Banana Guards, the con cornerstone of candy law enforcement, the Banana Guards might not be the brightest bunch, but they're determined and skilled with their spears. They'll hold off all balloon attacks until they're overwhelmed. And we also got the Super Fans, which were these guys, the Ultimate Super Monkey Fanboys. Their support can unlock the all-powerful Sun God. And it's only for Super Monkey, so that's sort of the problem. Uh is that we don't have that. We don't have the super monkeys. So maybe we could wait and try to get stuff that'll help us right now. Like these guys are 250, they're really cheap. Uh, the cornerstone of candy law, yeah. So like maybe we could try these guys and put them over like the dart monkey or something. I don't really know. I know I sort of took an uncommon when I got a, un, or I took a common when I got an uncommon wish orb, but that was the most effective thing at the time and that's what matters, right? So with all of that being said, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. If you watch this pretty video, make sure you comment Zebra Pirate so now you've watched at the end of the You're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.